A huge notebook that turns into a mat? Giant pencils that turn into Jedi sabers? And an eraser that you can sleep on? This is not a school for giants. These are our new giant anti-stress school supplies. Stevie is rushing to get to class. But not even the teacher is here yet. Apparently, no one is willing to study on Monday morning. Stevie still wants to see the continuation of his dream. Too bad there is no pillow on hand. Hold on, this eraser will do instead of a pillow. We just need to improve its design. Cover a big piece of memory foam shaped like a pillow with fabric paint. Draw an eraser label with a fabric marker. And here comes Christy. Well, school is definitely not in her list of favorite places to go on Monday morning. And where is her desk partner? Stevie doesn't come alone. He brings a huge eraser. This is a giant eraser pillow. So comfy. And it's so soft and pink. Christy dreams about putting her head on it. Stevie, sleep fast and share the pillow with your classmate. But if Stevie has already found the pillow, it isn't easy to wake him up. I've got an idea. I sneak a regular eraser for my neighbor and take away his comfy pillow. Here you go. Wake me up on Wednesday. Stevie wakes up with an eraser on his forehead. What's this? A sleeping mask? And why is my classmate sleeping on my pillow? Come on, give it back right now. Stevie wants to get his invention back, but Christy doesn't want to share this soft pillow. Oops, it seems that the problem fixed itself. Now everyone has a pillow. Stevie's pen is out of ink. Unfortunately, there are only pencils in his cup. His neighbor must have a spare one. Christy will help her friend in need. She has everything in her enormous bag. Notebooks, textbooks, regular pens. Nope, that's all wrong. And here it is, a giant pen with Orbeez. Cover colorful Orbeez with water. Let them soak. Cut half of an old marker. Cut a short piece of a pool noodle to be of the same shape as the tip of a pen. Hot glue the body of the marker inside. Cover the tip with metallic paper. Fasten it with hot glue. Attach the tip to the cap of a plastic bottle. Cover the joining with metallic corrugated paper. Hot glue a long piece of a pool noodle to the bottom of the bottle and cover the joining with the corrugated paper. Make a clip from metallic paper. Attach a corrugated ring along the edge of the pen. Imitate a metallic plug. Fill the bottle with big Orbeez balls. When Stevie asked for a pen, he definitely didn't mean anything so enormous. He even forgot what he wanted to write down. You can bend this pen, plus it looks like a rocket with extraterrestrial capsules inside. Let's take a closer look at them. Orbeez turn into soft shells for Star Wars. Monsieur Sebastian is out of breath. You bet, because he was running to school right from Handsome Land. But now it's time to start the class. Sebastian takes out his notes. It doesn't look so bad. Now we will write everything down. But all of a sudden, the notes grow bigger and bigger. That's mind blowing. Cut a yoga mat in half. Put a stack of colored paper of a suitable size between the two halves. Make marks for holes. And pierce the mat and paper with a hole puncher. Pass a ribbon through the holes and tie all the pieces of the notebook together. Cut letters from a colored foam rubber sheet and decorate the cover. Sebastian opens his huge notebook. 
Could it actually be only for one lecture? That's an unexpected turn of events. This class will last all week long. What a nightmare! The teacher got tired of this long lecture. His neck even got numb. At least this giant notebook has one magical feature. You can easily roll it. Sebastian turns the notebook into a comfy mat. This life hack deserves an A. The students see that their favorite teacher has fallen asleep. Apparently someone had a lot of fun last night and got very tired. We need to wake him up before the principal gets here. Let's hit him with an eraser. We hit the target. Monsieur Sebastian wakes up and returns to his giant notebook. Christy comes back from the library, but we're having art class and not literature. Books won't help her. She needs some paints. Unfortunately, all the pots with gouache are empty. Her mood is ruined. We need to come up with something immediately. Christy has an idea. She will take out giant paints that will last until graduation. Pour clear stationary glue into cornstarch and stir. Add acrylic paint. Pour in some gel laundry detergent. Mix it and sprinkle with baking soda. Knead the giant slime. Put the slime into a plastic bucket and attach a sticker of a matching color to the lid. Make a whole set of paints. Fold up a box from a piece of big colored paper. Leave a thick base for the bottom inside. Fasten it with double-sided tape and put in buckets with slimes. Attach a big label on top. Christy loves her giant paints. Stevie doesn't understand what they are yet. And why are the paints taking up half the desk? Does Christy want to color the entire classroom? Nope, her plan is way better. She will play during class. There are bright slimes inside these buckets. Take them out and stretch gouache into different directions. Now that's what I call fun. Monsieur Sebastian can't wrap his mind around what's going on in class. The classroom looks like a paint factory after an explosion. He wants to discipline the students, but this ruthless yellow slime isn't fond of teachers. Teacher attack! Oops! It seems like it's way too much. Monsieur Sebastian doesn't look good in yellow. He hides in the teacher's lounge, and the kids are happy. Paint slimes make the class end ahead of time. Christy is clearly trying to drive Stevie mad. Otherwise, why else would she draw in his notebook? But Stevie strikes back. Pencil war starts. It turns into wrestling. Our army needs some weapons immediately. Here they are, giant fighting pencils. Sharpen the end of a pool noodle. Make it look like a sharpened pencil. Create an imitation of wood with an orange-brown color. Use acrylic paint. Cover the other end of the pencil with this color. Leave the round center without paint. This is the lead. Write the title with a permanent marker. Sabers are ready. May the school supply force be with us. But the fight doesn't last long. The teacher disciplines the students. We call a temporary truce. Art class. Christy is jealous of her neighbor, but Christy doesn't manage to do anything. She is angry at the entire art world. Plus, her brush is broken. This is so unfair. Stevie wants to help his friend uncover her talent. He just happens to have exactly what she needs, a great anti-stress brush. Arrange colored foam rubber sheets to make a stack. Cut it into thin strips. Arrange the strips into a bundle and fasten with rubber bands. Color a cardboard roll with silver acrylic paint. Put the bristles in it and fasten them with hot glue. Make the brush handle using a longer cardboard tube. 
Cut it lengthwise. Roll its end tightly so that it's looser at the other end. Fasten it with painter's tape. You get a handle shaped like a cut-off cone. Place the top of the brush onto the wider part of the handle. Fasten it with hot glue. Shape light clay into a donut and put it onto the handle. Make a few colored donut-shaped rings. Each subsequent ring should be smaller than the previous one and put the rings onto the handle one after another. Fasten them with a cap made from light clay. Christy doesn't understand the benefit of the brush at first. It's not made for paints. It's made to relieve your stress. Squeeze different parts of it and relax your hands. It's good for art inspiration. Did you like our anti-stress school supplies? Then write in the comments what school supplies you will bring to school. Will you make paint slimes, an eraser pillow, or a Orbeez pen? And don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new stress-relieving ideas on Troom Troom.